Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Long Drive, brought to you by Toasted Toad Productions, where everything we create is true as Toasted Toads. I am Richard Rawl, and we had lost internet connection, and now we're back. Okay, good. So I, I physically had to end that stream then. All right. It's just where, where I live is the middle of nowhere, and the internet just, like, killed me. Anyway, we're talking about turtles. So anyway... I went, I went inside, the back story was I was on my patrol and I saw this big massive turtle, and he was heavy too. But anyway, he was just sombering along toward the road, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm freaking out. And he was big. I didn't want to go anywhere near him really, um, just because we have a lot of snapping turtles in the area. So I ran back into my office and I grabbed the snow shovel that we keep, like, in storage. And I walked out, I scooped up this, I mean, this turtle was massive. He probably was maybe 35 or 40 pounds. And I, uh, I carried him back toward the river and, you know, just let him... I didn't, like, throw him in the water or nothing like that. I just kind of turned him away from the road. Anyway, so I was telling the forklift operator about it. And he goes, oh, man, why didn't you save me that? I would have made turtle soup out of him. That's a... I mean, he went off on me about it. And I'm like, bro, you don't eat turtles. What the hell's the matter with you? Oh, yeah, turtle soup's a delicacy, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, dude, no, 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 no. Well, where was it? I said, I'm not telling you where it was. Yeah, I'm kind of hungry, too, to be honest with you. The only thing I've eaten today... Whoa! A little slidey on the ice. Ah, I knew it hit that fucking rock. Um, the only thing I've eaten today was a Subway sandwich. Why are my sunglasses on the seat? Did we lose anything else? There's, oh. There's a bunch of stuff I won't go anywhere near. There's that mirror. Wow, oh, we ain't got time for this. I gotta get to that POI so I can get water. So, like, what? You don't want to connect them? Did I lose both mirrors? Alright, so I must have lost both mirrors in this collision. Where's the other one? I started sampling. Just don't eat long pork. So the other mirror seems to have just fucked up. Oh, you know where where it might be? Oh, sometimes it ends up in these boxes. Or did it end up in the car? Son of a bitch. You know, I'm glad physics lock... Actually, uh, I mean, I, I wish the car wouldn't fall apart. Long pork? You don't know what long pork is? Okay, so, um... Long pork is human meat. Wait, is that the mirror? That thing went flying. So, like, um... Pirates, like a long time ago, would uh, run out of food, and they would be forced to cannibalize each other. And so, in lieu of saying, you know, human meat, you would say long pork. Oh yeah, people just eating people? Yeah, sure enough. Let the poor consume the rich. <laughs> I could never bring myself to eat a human being. I, I don't know, like... Just, just plenty of other options out there. <laughs> I don't care how desperate it is. Like humans are so nasty. I 
Wait, that bus might have some water in the tank. And it's not even about a taboo thing either. It's just like, like I said, human beings are so gross. Fuck, that's a lot of diesel. We're keep, we're, hey, we're taking that diesel. Is there a tire right here by any chance? No, of course not. Why would there be? That's 73 liters of diesel. I can fill at least this tank up with diesel. If I can... You eat a neighbor before you ate the cat or the dog. It's hilarious. My general disdain for the human race prevents me from, from agreeing with that, because I, I just don't like people very much. There's nothing here. This POI sucks. People are sick. And they suck. I wish these vehicles had a maintenance light. revenge against an asshole neighbor would be to eat the neighbor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure, buddy. Drink the diesel. <laughs> I was telling a guy on, on a stream, he was having a really, really bad time of it with, with hardly any resources. And I said, dude, drink gasoline because it fills just your pee meter and then pee in a tank, right? Thinking maybe it would turn into water. It didn't. It turned into just a peed straight gasoline. And I didn't know the game did that. I was just guessing. Yeah, we're almost out of water, so we, we've got to find a POI that's got a sink soon. Any POI that's got water. I had to sacrifice my water tanks to transfer these two fuel tanks to the back of the pickup. <sighs> yeah, I don't feel comfortable in this game dropping unless I at least have one 150 uh, liter tank full of whatever fuel I'm using. I have never knocked on knock on wood. Have had a vehicle run out of gas on me, and have been resorting to uh, to push it. I've never gotten to that point. Oh shit! Ah! Why am I? Why does my shit go flying forward?
all that tumbling and all I lost was the sun visors. That's lucky. Cannibalism starts here. It's, yeah, let's not make my stream about cannibalism. Toasted Toad Productions does not promote cannibalism. Sorry, I had to take care of the legalities. This mod does. Glagnar's Human Rinds. Bunch of crunch of tasty human. That was from uh, Futurama. Harvest the human's lower horn. This is like one of my favorite characters in uh, Futurama is Lur from the planet Omicron Percy I-8. Oh, is that a bunker? That's what we need, folks. That is what we need. Y'all hear that, right? Oh, there he is. How's that for a shot? Let's see where I hit him. Oh, I just got shot in the face. Where, where's the bullet hole? <laughs> Look at his head. Da Daddy, chill. Daddy, chill. These goddamn kids! <laughs> okay, sorry. My mind just did something weird there. Um, I screamed, like, in full volume in, in, in a stream one day because I came around the corner of the mansion and the zombie was fucking right there. And, like, like taking, like, I was taking damage and everything. It was frightening to behold. These tanks as full as they could possibly be. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, that's right. The other car had a larger tank than 40. Alright, here we go. Nothing. The bullet... The, the guy's head is, is like, le legit freaking out. Like, his head was going side to side, back to forth. It looked like Richard Nixon. Oh, I'm not a crook. Oh shit, this only had 30 some odd liters of water in it. See, I have roommates, I can't... I am that animated, like, I would get that excited, but I I have roommates. Like, even talking like this, I think, might be a little too much. Alright, so we only lost .8. What is a chankless? Chank chankless? It's a strange word. What is that? Flip flop. Oh. Sandals. I'm more of a croc kind of guy. Yes, I'm one of those. I'm a croc guy. It's worth going over there for a little bit of water. Nah, they've got enough. You don't like Crocs? Fucking love Crocs. So, ooh. 
that was potentially dangerous. Like, I think Crocs were like the best human invention ever. They are so comfortable. Cinnamon Toast Crunch Crocs. I can't say I've heard of those. Now the Crocs that I'm wearing are not like name brand Crocs, they're the off brand Walmart ones. But they have fur lining. They're my winter crocs. They make uh, steel toe crocs too for, for work. <laughs> now, if only they could make penny loafer crocs for, uh, for you know, fancy occasions. I go to a wedding and wear your penny loafer crocs. All right, man. Take take it easy. Still gotta buy you a phone charger. Oh, we're always nice. I have kind of the same problem going on, Parker. I used to run track when I was a kid, and then I developed uh, a taste for video games, and now I have dad bod. Which, fortunately, my girl's not repulsed by. So, <laughs> My girl's athletic. She runs like three miles a day. All that cardio. Tiny. too fast. There we go. Well, I, would, I don't know if she's into my dad bod, but she's not, like I said, she's not repulsed by it, so I'm not that overweight. I still get referred to as big guy by people, and I fucking can't stand it. Like, it drives me nuts. I hate that. I hate the informalness of it. Like, you know, usually when you address a stranger, it's excuse me, sir, or excuse me, ma'am. And I detest the fact that I have to instruct people inadequate. Well, I'm, I kind of got an in, a unique situation going on uh, laser. I'll be 40 in January, and my girl's 25 and still in college. <laughs> So, like, it's, uh, it's, it's an interesting situation. It's so, like, I feel like one day I'm going to wake up and I'll be 50 and she'll be 35. Oh, it's just a basket. My sleep-addled brain re registered a yellow basket as a, uh, um, oil can. That one's shiny. This 
is my lit truck. See how see how lit it is? With its sexy, sexy brown. I don't think I need this anymore. I think everything is shiny on this thing except maybe this. There it goes. Yeah, that's clean enough to eat off of now. I do the other one. Oh, there you go. I remember those days well. I was so happy to see high school fall behind me. Alright, we're going to make a quick transition, folks. Just bear with me real quick. Save. Should be 510. And 488. Alright, let's change it back to grass. Oh shit, I forgot to load. Yes, that's God's sponge. I was going to start a new game now for, for some reason. I've got to go back and load that. There it goes. Curiosity compels me to, to see what, what it gave me. Ew, a trabant. Fun fact, the Trabant found in this game is the exact same car that you can find in the video game Jalopy. Only they called it a Leica in Jalopy. Yes, Parker. Enjoy enjoy your 18-ness. Don't have too much fun, though. It dawned on me that I could have really used that sponge, but that's alright. See, it's still not grass. It's just like weird savanna plain, and I don't like it. Oh, no, I took the grass off completely. You can you can remove the grass in the settings. And I just hated the fact that I couldn't see any rocks. I just like the green texture of the land. Almost like mowed grass. And I'll tell you what else I don't like about the grass. I can pass this rabbit and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. It drives me nuts. Alright, settings, graphics... Or is it under mis miscellaneous here? Uh, where is it? Controls help, grayscale, old heat haze, no. Physics lock. I love you the graphics. I have grass. I'll turn the shadows on too. All right, so we're in like the, this is a transition biome. It's like half desert, half grass. But watch when we get into actual grassland. I'll show you what I'm talking about. It drives me nuts, that's why I turn it off. Where'd the shadows go? We're gonna turn that off too. That's a little bit better. I 
It looks like more of the same up ahead. Oh shit. Ah. Zero fucks were given by that rock. Whoa. I keep mine off. It's that anti elazing that. Oh Jesus. Like, I can already feel a huge difference in the performance of this thing by having the shadows on and that anti elazing or the. What do you call it? What did I... Yeah. I play in full screen. I don't think it really does anything. This looks no different to me. a little bit more realistic with the shadow effect. It's not bad. I keep it like this for a minute, but I want to, as soon as the, we get into the tall grass, I'll show you what I'm talking about, what I, what I don't like the grass for. Oh, we lost somebody. Oh, that's right, Psycho left. really good actually it's starting to get greener I don't detect any really noticeable FPS difference I know it's pretty right now the way I have this setup looks a lot better than it did I think we're. I think, I think we should be getting into the tall grass here in a minute. I'm gonna turn it back off as soon as I show you what I'm talking about. Well, except my piss poor driving. <laughs> oh shit. I tell you what this terrain reminds me of, and it's kind of weird. You may, maybe you won't see it, but this terrain reminds me of Dantooine from Kotor One. Sure, the Jedi Enclave was nice and you know populated and everything, but as far like as soon as you step out of the um, the Jedi Enclave, it is green, beautiful, lush, but also dead. Like, there's no, there's hardly any NPCs, there's enemies, and that's it. It's a weird thing to compare this to, I know. Hey, thank you for the follow, Parker. Did a sound effect just play? Because for me, it's not playing, that's why I was curious. Nope. Shit. I think maybe Twitch might have detected that I had downloaded that sound effect off the internet illegitimately. So they've probably copyright censored it. Because I keep having to re-enable that sound. How's that for shooting? <laughs> Oh, played for you, the, the frog? That's weird. The, the, I, the, this is, here's the reason why I keep shadows turned off, is because I have my body disabled in first person. So seeing a shadow on the ground is, like, really weird for me. Plus the long arms of this character freak me out. Alright, enjoy Sherlock. Have a nice day. Thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. Thank you for stopping by. I 
I think I'm more entertaining than Sherlock, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, fuck it, buddy. Calm down. so weird to play it like this. The only Sherlock show that I, I watched was that one with Lucy Liu, where she's playing Dr. Watson. I think I look pretty good. What do you think? The problem is I can't see what's going on around me. Like, I can't see if there's any side buildings or anything. This this landscape reminds me of the Windows 97 uh, default desktop background screen with the blue sky and the grass. This looks really good. Windows XP. It's the best operating system ever. Uh, this laptop has Windows 10, and I have no intention of upgrading it. I heard Windows 11 was awful. Well, what's weird, too, is that I bought this laptop used off of eBay, so the Windows registration is still in somebody else's name. Like, I can't even change... Like, I can't, I can't even rename the computer or the, the login information now. It just says name. So I, I'm going to either have to like purchase a copy of Windows 10 to register it or just ignore it. And that's what I'm going to do is ignore it because <laughs> I'm not paying extra money for that. Because essentially what I would be doing is spending the money for Windows 10 just to be able to change my computer's login name from name to my name. All right, here you go, long grass. Right, this is this is what I'm talking about. Watch this. Come to a stop. See the grass is in a circle around me, because that's my view distance. That drives me nuts, because then the rest of the the grass around that circle is flat. I hate that. I do like how you can make tracks in the grass. I will keep the shadows and everything else on, though. There we go. I just like the lush greenness of this uh, terrain right here. This is a... I'm playing on an HP Omen gaming laptop. With an NVIDIA 965 graphics card, which isn't terrible. I mean, it's not the best. Um, but it only had 12 gigs of RAM. So, I'm sorry, no. Was it 12 or 8? Either way, I went on to Crucial's website and I bought 32 gigs of RAM. And then I paid somebody to install it for me. So this thing's got a tremendous amount of RAM to it. I mean, 32 is on par with the, the more expensive gaming rigs. The only drawback is really graphic intense games. Like, even World of Warcraft, sometimes the graphics card gets a little uh, overwhelmed. Especially when there's like a lot of particle effects, like fire. But this, this laptop here will play Red Dead beautifully. Same with GTA 5. Eh, maybe not on pure, like, maybe not on ultra high settings, but definitely not on medium. So it's some, some sort of transition between medium and high is where I keep it. Um, Hogwarts Legacy needed all low. Otherwise, it was having problems. 
Um, Death Stranding didn't do too badly, and that's a pretty graphic, intense game as well. But for some reason, this computer hated the Outer Worlds. It took a lot of finagling the graphics on that thing to get it to play. Um, I have Imperion, but I haven't really delved too deeply. I'm kind of upset with Imperion, actually. There was a ship that uh, I, I downloaded out of the workshop, and now I can't find it. I had it on my old desktop. Ooh. My desktop that I had was a custom-built gaming PC that a friend made for another friend. And it didn't do so well in her hands at all. And my former... Now, the, the guy who built the computer is now a former friend of mine, so I don't speak to him. The, the computer's gone, anyway. It's been destroyed. But anyway, he, bought it for, he made it for her, to her specifications. It was a sex core processor with... I want to say 16 gig, gig of RAM and an NVIDIA or was it a it might have been an AMD Athlon or the other not AMD Athlon it's the processor but anyway um, I think it was a piece of shit like he she gave it to me because her husband bought her a brand new computer so she mailed it back from California all the way back here to southern Virginia and um my former friend like did something to it, cleaned it, gave it to me because that was mine. But uh, the first three weeks that I had it, the thing fell from I want to say three three and a half feet up, and it fell right directly on the ground, and it didn't run right since. All right, hold on, wait a minute. Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat. I'm going to cheat a little bit. Who needs a metal detector when you can look in the ground? There's a jerry can. There's some type of tank over there. What is that? Or is it a crate? Let's deal with the zombie. Some manner of tank right here. Ooh. Water tank. I love mine. Like, I could not be happier. And I didn't pay full price. It was $500 plus tax on eBay. And I paid it with PayPal, which allowed me to split it into four payments. So I didn't have to, like, shell out all the money up front. Um, I'm also going to buy the um, Asus ROG Ally, the handheld computer. I'm going to be purchasing that. However, I'm not going to be um, buying it until it gets the next generation of it to come out. Because the first gen had some critical flaws. Yeah, the silicon shortage of 2020 or 2021. Don't buy it yet. Wait till Gen 2 comes out. Generation 1 has a critical flaw in that the uh, designer, for some reason, decided it was a phenomenal idea to place the exhaust fan directly over the SD card slot, meaning that the SD card slot overheats. There's something else on the ground over there. Is that a second tank under the ground? Wait a minute, let's get closer. Ooh. I mean to hit the building. What is that? Is that a crate or a saddlebag? It's right there. Well, I'm definitely getting one. As soon as, as soon as, but see, then, then I worry about buying one that's a second generation. Like, I don't want to get fucked over and somebody, like, that's just the saddlebag shit. And then, like, somebody send me a Gen 1.
I just want to be able to play this at work. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to stream it, but at least I'll be able to play it. Yeah, they, 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 son of a bitch. They built it to compete directly with the Steam Deck. The advantage, though, is that since it is a computer with its own, um, like CPU and all that good stuff, you're not limited to Steam. You can download your GOG and your Epic games on it as well. You can also use your Wii mod on it to your heart's content. You can install everything exactly as you would a desktop computer. And supposedly, it'll play just like a desktop. Supposedly. Like, I've, I've seen people playing Outer Worlds just fine and Red Dead and all that good stuff. That was, I'll be honest. That's my that was my biggest sell point on it was the fact that I can play Wii mod. Like this 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 is one of the few games I've never had to cheat on. I, st I when I first started playing this, I was playing on peaceful just to really get used to it. And then I said, you know what? I'm going to challenge myself. I turned the, uh, I, you know, I turned the difficulty on. Then I turned the survival stuff on the food, water requirements, and stuff like that. And it's didn't really detect much of a noticeable difference. I've never died from starvation or thirsting to death. Dehydration, I guess you call it. However, it is 3:30 in the morning, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and get off here in a minute. I gotta do some laundry, and I'm not 100% sure if my girl wants to come over tomorrow or not. So, anyway, it's good talking to you guys. I really appreciate the raid and you guys stopping by and saying hello. Let's see how close to 500 we are. Ah, just over. All right. Anyway, take care, everybody. Goodbye.